Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you with another barefaced video. I will have a makeup video coming for you guys next week, but I felt like this one needed some bare skin. I really didn't think that I would ever be a person that ha would film this video, this kind of video. My skin was horrible, got really good, horrible again about a year ago, and now I have it clear again. And so I feel like I've really seen both sides of having bad skin and clear skin and I feel like I have some good tips that I can share with you guys and some things that every other video tells you to do to get clear skin that didn't work for me so in order to do this video justice I feel like I need to give you guys some background so when I was about 12 years old I was taken to the dermatologist by my mother because my acne was so bad and the drugstore stuff just wasn't cutting it anymore. So he put me on an oral antibiotic and a topical cream. And I've pretty much tried every antibiotic for acne and every topical that you can over my time since I was 12. I'm almost 22 now so I've done pretty much everything and my dermatologist at the time actually said to my mom when I was 12 her acne is bad enough that she could go on Accutane right now. I My mom was smart. She's like, mm, let's try literally everything else before we do that to my 12 year old who's already going through puberty. If you don't know, like the side effects of Accutane are just crazy. So it's really it not, not worth it to me. And even still now, like about a year ago, I went to a new dermatologist and he wanted to put me on Accutane and I was like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Eventually we tried some different things and my skin just wasn't getting clear. And he finally put me on an antibiotic called sulfamethyloxazole. <laughs> I'll have the name right here. And the topical cream Baxitracin, which is now just like, it's kind of like a burn cream and an antibiotic topical. It's very greasy and it doesn't work for a lot of people. So then that dermatologist retired basically. So I had to go to a new one and I went to this new dermatologist and he, I, I have never liked him but it was kind of just the only option for me in my area at the time. So I went to him and he immediately was like, I don't know why you're on those. Those are so extreme. I guess that antibiotic is kind of like the last step before Accutane but it worked beautifully for my skin and that was what made my skin look as good as it does right now, today. And so I went to this new dermatologist and he took me off of it almost immediately and changed my oral and I went back through a couple more of those oral antibiotics and a few different topicals and it was kind of like a frog in boiling water, like my skin just got progressively worse and worse but I wasn't super noticing it because it was such a slow progression getting back to this picture that was taken in September of 2018, so about a year ago, and my skin got so bad again. And this was right before my wedding, and even during my wedding, when I got married, my skin was pretty bad. Luckily, I'm good at makeup, and I can make it look okay. After I got married, I was just so fed up, went back to my dermatologist, and I said, you are going to put me back on sulfamethyloxazole, and you are going to give me a Baxitracin prescription. Lo and behold, here I am. So that is what I would say is the main thing that got my skin back to normal. However, that... I'm no longer on the antibiotics and I'm no longer on that topical anymore because your skin can get used to the topical and then it stops working. So I went to a new dermatologist, she's great, and she switched my, well she just took me off of the oral, like we weaned myself off of it and we changed my topical that is safe for pregnancy for when I start trying with my husband. I just feel like I'm in a good place now and I'm no longer on the oral antibiotic and my skin is still clear so far. This is the topical that I switched to now. I'm not sure what the brand name of it is, but it's the Dapzone Gel. That's what I'm using now, morning and night, and I am no longer taking the sulfamethyloxazole as an oral antibiotic. I have now weaned myself off of it and my skin is still doing great. So that is kind of my acne story. Now I wanted to give you guys some of the applicable tips that anybody can use that I feel like 
worked really well for me. And these tips don't require you to go to a dermatologist, although I highly recommend it depending on how horrible your acne is or how much you're self-conscious about it. I would definitely recommend going to a dermatologist, but most of my tips don't require you to go to a dermatologist. So here we go. Before I get into those tips, I wanted to share one thing that irritated me so badly whenever I would watch a video of how I cleared my skin or how to get your skin clear and glowy and it was always hydrate and drink tons of water. I drink more water than anybody I know. I seriously drink probably, I have my 32 ounce hydro flask and I fill it up six or seven times a day. Like I drink a crazy amount of water. I hydrate a ton, but my skin still looked like crap. And so I just got so irritated and yes, it is so good for you, but I just wanted to share that not every tip is gonna magically clear your skin. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So my first tip is to keep it simple. Where I was trying so many new products, I was trying everything under the sun at Sephora in skincare to try to fix my skin instead of just talking to my dermatologist and like paring it down and using what I know worked. I was trying Sunday Riley oils, I was trying tons of different moisturizers and serums and I was like something is going to work and I think it just overall made my skin worse in the long run because I was just trying so many new things and part of that was because I was getting gratis when I was working at Sephora and so I had tons of stuff to try so I was like I have it, I might as well use it. Now my skincare routine is extremely simple. I use a hydrating serum in the morning, moisturizer, and this. I use this first underneath and then my moisturizers over the top and eye cream. And at night I use this again and then I will sometimes use the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Serum which I'll talk about more in a minute as to how I got my skin clear and my moisturizer and an oil on my fine lines and an eye cream and that is seriously and a moisturizer, sorry, I use my moisturizer. And so my skincare has become very simplified and that is what I feel like has kept my skin the clearest because I don't know what all ingredients irritate my skin. I don't know what causes my acne completely. I need to stick with what I know works and I need to stick with the simple. Like I said, if you can, I would recommend visiting a dermatologist if you can. Sometimes you can't and otherwise I would just educate yourself on skincare ingredients and to keep it simple that's the best thing that I can share with you. Another thing that I implemented in order to clear my skin once I realized how bad it had gotten was I limited my real face washing to one time a day. And I only wash my face at night to get all my makeup and the oil and dirt off. So I use the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash because that is what my dermatologist recommended. In the mornings when I'm not really washing my face, like truly with a cleanser, I'm using a micellar water on a cotton pad just to get the excess skincare and the dirt and oils off. And my dermatologist said that still counts as washing your face, which you should be doing twice a day. So that is what I do and that made a drastic difference in my skin. I'd recommend giving it a try. It might not work for you, but I'd recommend trying it for a couple weeks and just seeing how your skin reacts to it. Another thing that I know you probably don't want to hear, depending on your age, you might just have to wait it out. And I think that was part of why my skin is doing well now, is I'm kind of past the puberty stage. My, my hormones are regulating. Getting into adulthood, everything is kind of normalizing. My stress levels are fairly level at this point. Sometimes you just need to wait it out. That was how my dad was was like and my mom uh, like their acne just stopped once their puberty kind of finished up so depending on your age you might just have to wait it out and I know that sucks to hear but that might be what you need I mentioned this just barely but I wanted to talk about the pharmacy honeymoon glow serum this is the only serum that I have used that I feel actually makes a visible difference in one use. If I had any texture on my skin as I was trying to clear up my skin, I would use this at night and I would wake up the next day and my skin was completely flat. So there was no texture. Some of my old coworkers from Sephora, they swear by this as well. I would highly recommend giving it a try. Go get a sample see how you like it. I also wanted to mention Drunk Elephant as a brand. Uh, every single one of their products is good for my skin. None of them irritate my skin. 
The number one product that I would recommend is their moisturizers, the Proteini and the Lala Retro. You guys know I talk about these incessantly. I highly recommend them. They're very clean ingredients. They just use the bare minimum of what they need to make your skin look beautiful and glowy. So I would highly recommend trying those as well. And those are kind of the two mainstream skincare items besides like my topical gel I feel are worth mentioning. And I mentioned this already once, but try to limit your stress. Easier said than done, right? Like let's just like not be stressed. But if you can help it at all, do some relaxation techniques, do some self-care, try to keep yourself calm. It shows on your face. You can tell how stressed out a person is by looking at their skin. Those are the tips that I have clearing up my skin. These are the things that worked for for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that there was something valuable that you got out of it. I hope that my story gives you some sort of hope. I 100% understand how depressing it is truly and how self-conscious it makes you when your skin isn't in tip-top shape. I understand I've been there and I promise there is a light at the end of the tunnel for you and for everybody. So I hope this was somewhat beneficial for you guys. I will be here again next week on Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye guys.